All right, hello everyone, welcome back. I'm just doing a quick little tutorial video on Zoho TXT records because I had an issue with my Shopify store the other day and this took way too long to figure out. So I'm just gonna make this quick little video so I can save you guys a lot of time that I wasted. So the issue is when you are adding a TXT record for verification from your Zoho mail to your Shopify store. So it kind of looks like this. Right When you are in your Zoho account, you have your TXT records, SPF records, and your DKIM record. So the issue for me is that when I followed these instructions to add the custom TXT file, I couldn't put it into Shopify. It was too long. It was, it was saying like, it was too long. I think it, it was like max is like 250 or 250 characters. And this drove me crazy because it's very simple. You literally just copy and paste like this information into your Shopify and the copy and pasted information into your Shopify is too long. So it's like, what the, what the heck am I supposed to do now? So this is very simple. So all you got to do is when it comes to TXT records, there's two types. There's one that is 1000 characters long. And then there's a longer one that is about 2000 characters long. I downloaded the 2000 character long version. And because of that, it didn't fit. So it's actually very easy. All you have to do is generate a new DKIM record or TXT file as 1024 bits instead of 2048 bits. This is exact. This was my exact issue. And hopefully is yours as well. Because once you try to copy and paste the 2048 bit record into your Shopify store, it will not work. It'll be too long. You need the 1024 bit record instead. And once you do that, you can input it correctly, it accepts it fully. In fact, I was talking to Zoho support and they said, one agent said, if I'm continuing to having an issue with this, they can help me generate the correct size one. But I didn't need that. I don't know if that's even true, but long story short, to add your TXT field for your Zoho mail integration, just get the 124, 1024 bit record as this fits and the 2048 bit record does not fit. That's all you gotta do. So that took way way too long for me to figure out. We got other things we gotta worry about. So hopefully this quick little three minute video, two minute video helps you get right back to business. If this has helped you in any way, leave a like, subscribe for more Shopify e-commerce help, and I'll see you in the next video.